Hey things else and welcome to this tutorial where I want to show you how to filter a dictionary in Python. So there are like uh, two sub questions. So given a dictionary and a filter condition, how to filter a dictionary by key so that only those key value pairs remain in the dictionary where the key satisfies a certain condition. Okay, and then also I mean an alternative question would be how to filter a dictionary by value so that only those key value pairs remain where the value satisfies a certain condition. Okay, so we can filter by key or by value. And you learn like four methods how they compare against each other and it's um, so if you like if you watch this video and you're really busy and you only want to like you want to get the answer straight away uh, right away then you can um, then the shortest way of doing it is is to use like dictionary comprehension I will just write it in the shell without executing it because I will uh, like go into detail into each method uh, in a moment okay so dictionary comp uh, comprehension is a way of creating a dictionary out of another dictionary, okay? And we have an expression and a context. The expression is this, we just use like key value, we just use the default key value pairs um, and we, we um, iterate over all key value pairs in dictionary items. So items gives us like, it gives us a list of tuples basically and the tuples are the uh, these two yeah the key value pairs so we in a dictionary we map a key to a value and we here we go we iterate over all these key value pairs and we just include the key value pair in the dictionary uh, but we only include the key value pair in the dictionary if the condition is met and here instead of condition you can write anything you want it's, it can be a function of the key of the value or of both so for example you can check like if a uh, key is larger than five or so. Okay, so you can have any any condition you want on the key or on the value. You can even like combine it, and the value is smaller than one hundred or so. Yeah. So this way, this way, this with this simple statement here, you re replace your own condition. Here, you replace your own dictionary. So say your dictionary is called uh, is named D, then you would just write D dot items. So it's uh, items function is a is an object function on the dictionary. Okay, so this is a this is the best way, most Pythonic way. You can use this, but uh, let's start slowly. Like we are going to through all methods, and we start with a simple iteration to filter a dictionary. So let's start with a dictionary. Okay, so we are we are um, getting kind of abstract here. Here we have a dictionary of names, so we map like integer values to string values. So this we associate an integer value one to the string value Alice, and integer value two to the string value Bob. And now we want to filter the dictionary by a uh, key we use a simple loop like this would be le like the standard approach and you should always start with the simplest approach and uh, so we iterate over all key value pairs in um, the items okay the items as I already said it returns a list of tuples of key value tuples um, from the from the dictionary names and we go over all these tuples and now we can check like our condition if the key for example key modulo 2 so if the key is an odd value for example then we would include this into the new dictionary okay the new dictionary initi initially is empty so if you if you use a dict constructor without passing an uh, iterable then it will just create an empty dictionary okay and here we like set the key we map the key to the value but only if the key is an odd value in odd integer value okay and now we we go over this whole function print the result the result is a dictionary and now you can see if you execute the code snippet that we have created a new dictionary with three elements and all of those elements have odd integer keys okay so this is how you can filter a dictionary like a very general straightforward way of doing it and you can like replace it with other functions you can have like all even values in this case you will have a dictionary with only two items because we only have two even keys yeah this is like bob and n and we can also you can also um, filter by value so you can have for example a fu function of the value so you can check the length of the value the value is a string in our case and so say you want to filter out all um, strings that are that have less than five characters and only then you include those into the new dictionary. Okay, now we have basically we have four elements and all all values have less than five characters and we have skipped Alice in, in our result, okay? Alice does not appear in the filtered dictionary. Okay, so this is like the, the default method. This would be like without thinking, everybody would, would just use th this method. And, it's, and it's, it's a fine method. It's understandable and readable and also not too 
too large, okay? So it does not have too many lines of code. And you can filter by, by key and by value. However, um, if you... Um, so what if you, if, you, if you want to do this on, on multiples, so if you want to filter for multiple uh, key values, then you have to do this whole thing, this whole, these four lines, basically, if you would condense it, it would consist of four lines, uh, actually five lines, these five lines here, uh, you would have to copy and paste them again and again. If you want to filter multiple dictionaries or dictionary for uh, multiple, sometimes for some keys, for other keys, for other keys or for other values. So say you want to like repeat the procedure and then obviously the, like, the second method would be to generate a function to filter the dictionary. Okay, so let's, so all, every time we have redundant code, we can basically create a function. Let's call it filter dict. It takes two arguments, the dictionary we want to filter and the filter function f. Okay, now all of this appears in the function. In the function we create a new dictionary, we iterate over all items in our dictionary that was passed into the function. And now here we check simply the condition. Okay, so we have a, we have a function, we pass the key and the value into our function. And only if the function returns true, we add the element to our dictionary. If it is false, we, we don't add it to the dictionary. And then instead of printing the dictionary, we simply return the new dictionary, okay? So this function kind of um, abstracts things away. So now we can use it multiple times. We can use it uh, to filter by key or by value. So for example, how would you do this? Yeah, so you want to print something. What do we want to print? You filter dict. So you call the filter dict function. And uh, as dictionary, we use names. As filter function, we use the lambda function. And the lambda function now takes two, arg two arguments, the key and the value, and it returns a true uh, Boolean value. Yeah? So li like for example, um, the key, is it the key modulo two is equal to one, which means that it is an odd value. Okay, so now we check again, we basically check the same thing. We check whether the key is an odd value, only then we include it into the dictionary. Okay, and if you execute this, we still see that it, it has the same output as before. So we accomplish the same thing, but now the nice, nice thing is that we can quickly uh, try out different things, different filtering functions. So we can filter all even values. We can filter like for for the if the for example if the value starts with the character say a, okay. So here we check whether uh, for the whether the like the value starts with the character a. So we want to get the key value pairs Alice and Anne in the last example. And we can quickly do this by using our function. Yeah, we don't have to redefine code. We have no redundancies in our code basically. Okay, so this is like a, a more efficient way if you want to uh, use it multiple times, the same method. And you can filter by key or by value as you want. And um, good, so next, is this the most Pythonic way? And the answer is no, there is a more Pythonic way. There are even two more Pythonic ways. So, uh, so one of one of it is to use the filter function. The filter function is a built-in function. It was created just for this purpose. Okay, here we have like four lines of code, but we can also have uh, we can also make it um, uh, much more efficient. So we can basically create. Um, so let's get rid of everything. Okay, so here we can like in a one-liner code snippet. We can do the following, yeah, so we um, maybe let's start with, so we create a new dictionary basically, yeah, so we created a new dictionary out of some, um, out of an iterable and we obtain the iterable by using the filter function, okay, so the filter function returns an iterable of um, uh, key value pairs in, 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 in our example and what do we want to do? The filter function takes two arguments, the first one is the function that we want to use as a filtering function and this function returns a boolean value for each element in an iterable and checks whether this element should be added or removed uh, from the from the uh, or original iterable and then it takes also the iterable over which we want to iterate okay so let's first uh, set the iterable so we want to have uh, call name it dot items you have already seen this this returns a like an iterable of key value tuples okay so now we have the key value tuples and we want to decide for each tuple like one element one object in our iterable is a tuple and the tuple maps a key to a value so we have a key value tuple 
and we want to decide for each key value tuple whether to include it or not. So we create a function dynamically, lambda function takes one element, this is the element of the, um, um, of the names item, so it's a tuple, and returns like if you want to have, want to have a function of, uh, if you want to filter by key, we use the first tuple element, which is the key. If you want to filter by value, we can use the second tuple element, yeah? Just by indexing. And now we can have any function on this, like for example, modulo two um, is one, and this returns a Boolean value, you see, so we use lambda function, lambda keyword plus an argument. So we have one argument, the element to be, uh, to be checked. And then we have a return value, which is which returns like it's an expression that returns a Boolean value, true or false, and that determines whether we should add the element or not. Okay, so in this way we can filter all um, odd values. So if you scroll down, you see we have filtered all odd keys, so all dictionary elements with odd keys, and we can use the same like we can modify it here to filter out all even keys, for example, here, and to we can also have something on. Um, filter uh, function based on the value like for example we can replace it with one the first tuple uh, uh, the second tuple element will be the value so we can have a function on the value say starts with so it's a string the value is a start is a string so we can start with a and we check okay so we want to have all elements that starts with a okay so this also works and you see instead of five lines of code we have only one single line of code and uh, the filter function is a concise one liner it's readable for advanced coders uh, for for but I mean I mean even advanced coders have to think a bit about the filter function but still still this is a very solid way and it's also efficient it's uh, quick and I would say it's Pythonic but there's a, an even better one-liner solution so how can we be even better I mean this is one line of code it's efficient it's uh, understandable um, but actually there is one um, there is one based on list comprehension uh, uh, dictionary comprehension sorry and uh, dictionary comprehension is uh, the one I have shown you in the beginning. Okay, now we have uh, dictionary. The advantage of dictionary comprehension is that we create a dictionary right away, like it just reads as plain ang English. Okay, so instead of this thing, uh, I will I will leave the original, the filtering way, so that you can compare those two. Um, we can print our newly di created dictionary. So remember, remember, our goal is to create a new dictionary. So we so we use this uh, this uh, bracket notation and. Now we use dictionary comprehension, which consists of an expression and context again. Our context is, so we iterate over all key value pairs, let's call it them uh, key we in um, names.items, but we don't want to include all, all of those, yeah? So we, want to don't, we don't want to include all items, we want to filter the items. So we want to like create a condition here. And, the, um, and so we can now replace this part, this condition with our custom condition on uh, on the variables k or v which is the key or the value of an individual element okay so we want only want to include this element if it meets our condition so what can be the condition yeah we can now simply use this condition here we copy this and um, now we have to like our expression is simply the identity expression so we map the key to the value for all key value in our items dictionary only if the value starts with the character a, and here, of course, you can have any fu any any condition. Um, you can also have a function on. Um, okay, x is not defined. Uh, okay, if this should not be st start with, this should be a value. Okay, so we have a function on the value. Good, and you see it ha it uh, leads to the same output. Uh, L is an end, and uh, it's a function of. Um, so it, we filter by by value. So it's a function on that uses the our uh, dictionary value. If we want to filter by key, we can also do the same thing. Of course, we can have like a key modulo uh, two equals one, for example. And now we have all, all odd keys. We have all dictionary elements with odd keys. Okay, and you see it's much more concise. It's much more concise than the filtering function. It's also more understandable. Yeah, so you want to have all key values, four key value in our dictionary items, and all but only if the key if the condition is met. Okay, and you can have multiple conditions here, just with the same expression. You will change only one thing here in in the in the end. Okay, so you can like you immediately see. Okay, they are the same. We have the same um, dictionary comprehension statements, but with only one difference, which is the condition here to be filtered. Okay, so this is the most Pythonic way of doing it. You use use dictionary comprehension to filter a dictionary in Python. Thanks for listening to this video. If you want to increase your skill level. 
then you should start with your own practical code projects uh, because there's no such thing as uh, working on your own code projects. You will become very, very motivated and, um, and like get, get a very rounded skill level. So you should always start uh, with your concrete project in mind. You should not learn too much. You should start quickly solving real uh, problems of real people in the world. Okay, and if you want to, uh, want to do this um, with, with me, then check out my free webinar where I show you how you can develop your high income skill Python, how you can sell your skills on a freelancing marketplace, earn some money and get this well-rounded skill set of a, a practical Python developer. Okay, thanks for listening to this video. Uh, check out the free webinar in the uh, description below and see you in the next video. Bye.